Hi Jewelry Poppers! This is Charisma from PopNikin.com. Go to website for unique handcrafted jewelry. Today's topic is sawing and I'm gonna show you how to use this awesome but a little weird looking saw from the concepts. From what I heard, people either love it or hate it. I am obviously in the love crew. What I love about this saw are the easiness to change the blade and to get the tension right in seconds. Voila! It's especially good for piercings and I do a lot of it. New concept saws are known for the rigid aluminum frame and it's really lightweight so you can saw longer without getting hand fatigue. So without further ado, let's get started! First, I would like to talk about safety glasses and optivisors. Safety glasses will protect your eyes and or your expensive prescription glasses from impact and debris. I like these $5 clear safety glasses from Menards. They go over prescription glasses and have anti-fog coating so they won't get fogged up when you use a mask. Like that. Use an optovisor when you need magnification. I find it's very useful for sewing little details. What I have here is Carson Pro optovisor, about $30 in Amazon. It comes with four different magnifications, fully adjustable head strap, and super bright triple LED overhead light. Before we go on installing the blade, this is the basic rule that you need to know. Each blade comes with a set of teeth that are pointing to one direction. Here I drew a simulation of a saw blade. The teeth on the blade on the left are pointing up. This is wrong. Install the blade with the teeth pointing down. This is a diagram that I drew of a new concept saw. Here we have a wood handle, rigid aluminum frame, two knobs to hold the blade in, a tension knob up on the top, and a quick change cam lever tensioning system. This saw frame is precisely designed to hold the standard length of a jeweler's saw blades. On the real thing, these teeth are minuscule and sometimes it's best to go by the feel. Run your finger on the blade gently, don't worry it won't cut you. When your finger is stroking up, the blade should feel catchy and when stroking down the opposite way, the blade should feel smoother. First loosen the bottom knob near the handle. Insert the blade with teeth facing out, tighten the knob. Now loosen the top knob, make sure that the cam lever is positioned on the opposite side of the saw frame. Insert the blade and then loosen the tension knob to the max. Make sure that the tension knob is touching the lever before you tighten the top knob. Next, flip the lever to the opposite side. You should see that the blade is more tensioned now. Turn the tension knob clockwise to tighten it even further to find the perfect tension. Once you've found the right tension, mark the knob with a permanent marker so you can easily find it again. Different size of blade may require different tension, but so far I only need to mark two spots for my needs. I use two different marker colors. To uninstall the blade, the way I do it is by loosening the top knob first to release the blade. To my experience, it prolongs the life of the blade as opposed to flip the lever first as it reduces the amount of tensioning by half. Does that make sense to you? If you're doing piercing, after releasing the blade on top, insert the blade through the hole in your piece, slide it down to the bottom, make sure the weight of the metal does not rest against your blade, insert the blade back to its place, tighten the knob, flip the lever, and you're ready to saw again. That's the beauty of new concept saw with a cam lever. Perfect tension every time with the flip of a switch. Now let's talk about blades. My favorite to saw with is Laser Gold brand from Rio Grande. I've tried many different brands from cheap unnamed ones to Antelope and Hercules brand, but Laser Gold trumps them in my opinion. 
There are many sizes to choose from. My favorite for piercing is size 6 slash 0. It is fine enough to allow me piercing a hole with fine points and details. If you click the more info tab in the website, you'll find information and tips for sewing, how to choose the right lubricant and blade size for your project.